and welcome along and welcome back to oak hill today we're hoping to get done on our seeding we've got four more fields to do with two different crops in here in our 60 uh, sorry our 76 15 uh we have got um what have we got here we have got soybeans so we're gonna go and take this up and get this planted up on field 33 and 32 uh, we're actually going to start with 32 uh take this up here we're gonna get this done on course play because we need to head up to the shop in order to get our other uh piece of equipment for today so we'll head up to field 33 here uh and just stop about here there we go there course generation field 32 uh we'll go around we'll do three headland passes clockwise up down turn on the headlands and generate me a course there we go and we can see it is the top corner there that we want to start at so we'll head over there uh we've got first waypoint on good and we'll head over here and get this started so there and drive course and away it goes absolutely perfect right so we are heading back down to our farm and we're gonna jump into what we've got in this barn here which is our 6614 so our slightly less powerful tractor we're gonna take this up to the shop uh and it's time to go and pick out a, uh, a planter we need something to plant corn with now what do we have in the shed is the thing i do want to check before we go uh, i think we might have maize seed in here we do so we've got maize seed we've got no fertilizer so i think that's what we're probably gonna uh grab up the top is see if we can get some fertilizer as well we may be able to in fact to fit an entire pallet into the the cedar i'm looking at so uh yeah let's head up there and uh, and get that sorted and down to the shop let's just park this over here we'll go and have a look at what we have on offer here now we're still renting equipment so we've already got two choices uh here i think we've got the or at nine the lemkin uh with the uh with the solitaire 23 or we've got the uh, vadastad tempo v8 with the fh uh 2200 as far as i can see there is very little difference between these two cedars um basically the lemkin the Auric nine here that takes 600 liters and only requires 110 horsepower versus the uh yeah versus this one which is 150 horsepower and has 696 liters so it's not a massive difference um the only other difference i can see is that the batistad here you can do this without a front section you can do it with just a front weight uh whereas this one seems to absolutely require the solitaire you know it doesn't give the option the other way uh i am actually tempted with our current setup to go with this with the front weight rather than the front tank yes the front tank would allow us to hold more seed uh and everything but i think we're actually better off with this vadastad uh we it would only cost us 1500 and uh and yeah it would work pretty well with the setup we've got so uh 150 horsepower which i believe our 6614 has yep yeah, we've got 160 horsepower there so i think we're going to go with this this is the vadastad tempo 8 uh, 150 horsepower holds 696 liters of seed uh we're not going to do the um fertilizer at the same time so we are just going to get this uh we do need to get a weight with it as well so uh let's lease this uh yes yeah, for 1530 and then i want to have a look in my garage and see exactly what weights we've got 
we have got two weights we've got oh, we've actually got three weights so we've got a 650 uh a 1500 uh and an 1100 it's amazing that this is so much heavier than that one uh so we should have a weight back at the farm that can handle it if we have a look at the least items quickly at the one we've just got uh that uh yeah recommends a 1500 so we can look i think we might pick up another weight let's see on our map where these weights are and uh, and see what we've got so we've got a large clump of stuff around the farm that's the scout it's gonna be in here isn't it can we tab through these and see what we've got there we go it's the 650 that is in the shed i don't think the 1500 that is on top on the front of our other one so we're going to get another 1500 weight as well uh in order to offset this so 1500 uh agco weight there we go uh we'll get in the onyx uh as we normally do and that is going to be 1400 absolutely fine buy that and it's all good and nice there we go so there is our new cedar uh or new planter our vatistad uh was it tempo five uh along with our front weight let's see if we can get the front weight on the tractor first oh tractor was running the whole time and this we're going to be using to get the uh get the corn in uh we of course going forwards can use this to plant other stuff um it plants uh soybeans of course which uh we've got our other planter planting today uh it plants uh sunflowers should we add those into the rotation because those are the ones we took out uh what else uh sugar beet i think it does carrots this as well right let's fold her up and uh and yeah we can head back down to our farm and get things started coming back into our yard and our maze is in there so we'll get the little 135 out for this so down open that up and we'll let that open there and meanwhile we'll head into here open this up and uh there's our 135 so that's the 650 weight on the back of this we do have a another one a larger one around here somewhere but i'm not 100 sure where it is i think we took it off to get the front weight oh we left it up at the shop that's exactly where we left it wasn't it when we went to pick up our yeah there it is 1100 it's not enough uh and i think we might sell it i think 1500 weights seem to be where we need to go so i think when we're next up at the shop we'll sell that weight and get rid of it uh we could just sell it now to be honest tell the shop it's there and get rid of it and uh, and get ourselves a little bit of money back now we've got 2,000 meters of, uh, yeah, 2,100. So this will take, uh, oh, this can refill our cedar here three times. I'm kind of hoping that we're not going to need to reseed it that many times. Uh, and that we're going to be able to get it to, uh, to do fairly easily. Now I haven't got the front tank on here. Uh, and uh, which would take would also give us uh, the ability to hold more seeds to be honest um, but uh, just it's just really sort of a, a money saving situation with that I'm trying to avoid uh, doing that it looks here actually like this will also take 136 litres of um, amazingly another 136 litres of uh, solid fertiliser which we don't have any of so i'm not doing solid fertilizer at the moment because we're gonna go and grab a solid fertilizer spreader and do all of these fields at once late spring uh, just to sort of get ourselves set up 
Uh, the two jobs we really need to do once we've got this stuff seeded. Uh, we want to head out to field 66. Um, is to uh, get the two remaining grass fields cut. And I'm going to have to, given the trouble we had on the slopes last time, uh, I'm going to have to look at it again and see how we can get these cut. Um, but yeah, we've got to get those cut and we also need to get uh, everything fertilized. So that is, I think, how we're looking at rounding out the spring here on Oak Hill. What we will have, though, uh, is to, we'll, we'll then end up, I think, skipping a large chunk of the summer. And that is because there's not going to be a huge amount to do. We are going to have a little bit of work uh, in that we need to do uh, things like uh, weeding and, uh, and maybe another load of fertilizer. Uh, and then we should go straight into the harvest. So... Uh, it's it's gonna be yeah it, we're gonna have a we've had a, a slow build up through the spring uh and then i think we're gonna be jumping almost straight through the summer right we have an entrance to our field here where is the best way of doing this field let's turn off our beacons what is the long edge let's have a look at this field in here so field 66 in all fairness, the long edge is that one. Uh, so we want to start really on that side of the field and do it uh, at this sort of angle going across. So I'm going to start at the bottom end here. Let's see if we can get this. We want to turn our GPS on because that is going to be absolutely necessary for this. And this is a six meter cedar as well, uh, which is quite useful for us uh, because if we do end up doing a lot of backwards and forwards uh, because we don't have the tank on the front uh, it's going to be very useful uh, to be able to do uh, to be able to run back and I'm kind of wondering if the reason why this is slightly more expensive is for uh, is because it does have the fertilizer built into it as opposed to the other one which which maybe didn't have any at all there we go there and down and what we want to do is set our first waypoint and away we go yeah got enough power in this little tractor should do us absolutely fine set it set our width and away we go I think it's going to pull us a little bit away from the edge. So I'm going to have a little bit of cleanup to do. But otherwise, yeah, it's slow, but we are going. Something I'm finding as we're planting this is we're getting... You can see on our rear wheels, we're getting a lot of real slip, wheel slippage. Especially when we're, uh, we're doing the uphill bits. I want to give a try today. Uh, depending on how we do with these seeds uh, but I think I want to give a try and see what difference putting a set of dual wheels on uh, would make I'm hoping we're going to get a little bit more grip and a little bit more uh, ability to actually uh, get seeds in the ground with that let's get this down and set our GPS again um, but I think we might sort of lose this this slippage we get on the rear and hopefully get a little bit more speed out of our cedar so uh next time we go back to the uh main farm we'll uh, see if we can put some jewels on this tractor and uh and go from there at the moment we are at about 64 percent so we're uh we've got about two-thirds of our seed left I think we're about two-thirds of the field uh, left as well. Oh, and it started to rain. That's the first rain we've had on Oak Hill so far. Our 7615 has reached its end point. So let's stop this. And then we can bring this out. 
Unfortunately, we can't seed uh, corn with this um, because, well, to be honest, if we get to seed corn with this, we would have kept just this and not grabbed the other one. But uh, this is very likely going to be finished its two fields uh, before we are uh, finished on field 66. If that's the case, what we might do is go put some jewels on this tractor. Get that. Oh, oh I got done for speeding uh and get that and go and do the remaining seeding of the corn with that and then see maybe if we can get some fertilizing done with our smaller tractor um i say smaller tractor it's only just smaller but it would uh yeah we could put some uh care wheels on the other tractor and see if we can get some solid fertilizer around uh we're gonna set this one up again um clear this course generate a course for this field 33 this time uh and completely the same setup although actually we're going to go counterclockwise and generate the field there we go because the thing here is we want to end up back in this corner uh so that we can then drive straight out and that means starting over this side and yeah it'd be good to get we can spread solid fertilizer and actually it should be dry by the time uh we finish this job but if we can get dry fertilizer started today that would be a big bonus so first waypoint drive course and away this goes putting the second lot of soybeans in uh so we can then leave this to it it's looking increasingly likely now that we are not going to have enough seed to do the main part of this field. I'm really, uh, really, really hoping that uh, I don't, I don't want to put jewels on this if we're going to switch over to that other tractor now. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, the 7615 is going to be finished by the time we run out of uh, corn on here. Uh, otherwise, we are definitely going to be playing uh, musical wheels this time uh, on here, uh, as well as musical tractors. Otherwise, well, we could we could end up just doing the fertilising next time. There we go, uh, and uh, and 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 just doing it that way. Personally, though, I would I would quite like to get this. Uh, doing some fertilizing today uh, get our uh, 7615 doing uh, this bit of seeding on here uh, with some jewels on it and see how things go uh, but either way we are now at the halfway point on this field and we only have 25% of the corn left uh, in the seeder or in the planter so uh, yeah it's looking increasingly likely uh, that we're going to have to put the jewels on this I think we're under 10% of our corn left now it is dropping uh, slowly but <laughs> it is going to run out and we do not yeah we don't have anywhere near enough to get the rest of this field done looking at our course play one our uh, our 7615 that is currently about halfway uh through the field i think uh looking at it yeah it, it looks to be turning around and and heading through the middle of the field so we are going to have to put the kit uh, the jewels on this tractor uh the seven uh, the six six fourteen and, uh, and do that. I want to be careful here because I've got a tree. Yeah, we've got enough. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going right up to the edges here because we've, we've got the space to be able to go to the edges on this field. So, uh, it's... Yeah, I, I think what I'm very tempted to do uh, is to uh, actually come around the edges and and plow the extra bit of grass into the field uh just so that we uh we go right up to the hedge and use every bit of this field we can i don't know whether it would increase our 
how much it would increase our yield by but previously the headlands have been quite a, a, a bit of uh, a, quite a bit of our harvest just going around a few times so even if we added one three meter headland uh, to this which seems to be roughly what we'd, we'd, we'd be doing um, that could add a significant amount of crop uh, to these fields and we are out that's it no more seed we'll fold this up we'll head back over to the farm uh, and yeah we'll uh, we'll load up with some more of this uh, some more corn uh, and we'll also put some jewels on this tractor and see if that helps our traction issues so first things first we want to drop off our cedar so we'll unfold that like so and then drop it down we'll do less damage to it that way so there and down it goes and disconnect ah there we go right and we'll take this into our workshop we'll put some jewel wheels on this we're gonna end up putting uh care wheels on this later as well uh and we're gonna i think i can't believe it's taken me the entire seeding uh, uh our entire seeding season for me to go oh maybe we should put jewel wheels on a tractor so here we go not that one we want that customize and uh michelin's we've got standards we can either go with the full jewel setup but i'm just gonna go with the the rear twins it's gonna cost us it's going to cost us four thousand to do this but it is going to massively improve our traction so customize that yes uh we will put the weight back on lift that up and now my hope is i can get out of this shed because that could be an issue out of our workshop just about yeah there we go get these on here i think we can probably put the care wheels on the uh on the bigger tractor as well just seems a bit of a weird place to to do them but this should with any luck increase our traction we'll just grab our can't believe the how small this tractor is compared to our other one it's 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 almost like going to a lawnmower tractor from uh from the main one uh, but this will fill up so we can do that there we go and so back this off and i think during our seeding time it would be wise to be uh to be dueling up especially the thing about oak hill is the fact that there are a lot of slopes on this map uh it's just yeah there are an awful lot of slopes on this map and as a result you you do have traction issues we saw it last time when we were cutting the uh when we were cutting the grass um we've seen it this time when we were doing the steeper parts of this field uh, as it is we've actually got a flat field left to do that is our last field down there field 76 so it's uh yeah we've taken all this time to put the dual wheels on i think that is a lesson learned though when we come to do seeding again on here um i think we are gonna need to get our tractors jeweled up first i pull over because we have wider tires on here now speed camera is on a weird place uh i don't think with a tractor we're ever gonna go fast enough to uh, to set it off while we're still getting some slippage on here uh it's it's better it's definitely better we'd we'd, we'd sort of uh before when we were doing the lower part um even when it was less steep uh we were getting stuck at about two three initially and then heading up to uh to four or five uh now we're starting at about four or five and heading up to about eight miles an hour um which is great absolutely brilliant we do have a little bit of a gap i don't think i've quite got my uh, gps in the right place because of course when you uh go and edit a tractor like that you completely or yeah when you go and do the customization like that you completely reset your gps so uh hopefully uh it's not too bad we've got a few patches 
uh, nothing major but the tractor definitely is pulling better uh, with these uh, jewels on which is kind of what you'd expect you've got more wheels on the ground uh, and it's uh, and it should work better now I have a feeling that might be the slipping and uh, and the jewels working better I have a feeling it is a feature of seasons uh, if I remember correctly I don't think base game jewel wheels make much difference um, but uh, yeah certainly in seasons uh, like this I think it's uh, it, it probably it well to me it certainly seems to be making a difference at the moment and so uh, was worth doing it uh, I think we're gonna end up today having this field seeded uh, fields 60 uh, sorry 32 and 31 seeded as well and um, we're going to be left with one final cornfield to get done uh, and uh, and to be doing uh, the rest of the farm with the fertilizer uh, which would be a good way to get into the next day of summer uh, next day of spring uh, get us all set up and uh, leave us in a position where the final day of spring we can get those last two grass fields cut and get some silage money in i'm really hoping that we're gonna have enough corn seed to do the final field it's a smaller field than this one uh, and we've used yeah so we've used one and a half oh no we haven't even used that uh, we've used five, yeah, 506 each time. We should have plenty of corn uh, to do the rest of the fields here, or the remaining field here, uh, and get that done, uh, which is good news. Very, very happy with that. Let's get this in here. Get that down so that we're nicely coming around and into there. Um, because this field is just about done and we've still got about 50% of the corn left from this. So we've used 1,120 uh, 1, litres here uh, to get this done. I'll come down here, get that bit. There we go. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not been too bad. In fact, no, we haven't because we've only used one and a half. So uh, it's, yeah, it's nowhere near that. It's, it's sort of more around the 700 uh, litre mark, which is absolutely fine. That is, uh, that's going to put us in very, very good stead for that final field. Uh, we should have plenty of corn for that. I don't know how our other tractor is doing. It looks like to me that is on the headlands as well. So uh, that actually is really really good puts us puts us ahead of where i wanted to be today which is very good news we're gonna get this back up to the shed and uh, and then we'll go and check on the other tractor and see where that's got to wow we're a very wide load going down this road i can see why these grass fields are grass fields it's so steep to get up into this yard and those three grass fields just sort of surround the southern part of this farmyard it's uh yeah it's really really tough uh what i'm gonna do i don't think this will go in will this go in under this shed or maybe it will yeah it will right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna back off r135 and get that back here like so that will do uh, back this into here unfold it and put it down so it's just inside and then we can hook up our other tractor to it when we get that back so unfold and lower like that and disconnect it because i want to go and put some care wheels on this uh ready for next time in fact we're going to park this in here we will switch over these wheels next time get some care wheels on this uh ready for it to do some uh oh. 
to do some of that. Let's go and check out our other tractor, though, and see where that's got to. And our 7615 is coming down the final row to finish off field 33. Uh, which means we've got two fields of soybeans in today, a single field of corn. Uh, just one more field to go, which is absolutely brilliant. This is why we're on nine day seasons. In order to get everything done with two tractors on these uh on these uh 10 fields or 13 fields uh we've needed all of that time to do it uh let's get this back down to the yard uh which is a nice place for us to finish today i think uh so let's bring this along and oh i'm just gonna jump out and jump back in because when you do course play or you jump into a tractor like that uh, you it doesn't bring the uh, steering column down uh, but we're gonna leave it here today uh, we've got some corn to do next time and we're gonna start on the fertilizing for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.